Hey guys, it's Villain3 with the next episode of my favourite decks for each hero, moving on to the second hero, Captain Marvel. And Captain Marvel's an interesting hero because I know people aren't going to like me saying this, they clicked on the video to see some cool stuff, but I'm not actually her biggest fan. She just doesn't click for me. She plays well, but it's just not as interesting as other heroes for me. She's usually down the bottom of my list of heroes I would like to play. But nonetheless, I do have a favourite deck for her. And I've actually asked members of the community to join in and help me to showcase their favourite decks so we can talk about what they like. So a quick breakdown of Captain Marvel is her attack card, fort card, and her kind of defensive cards. Kind of mediocre, honestly, or like average at best. But then her other cards that kind of all generate a lot of resources are absurdly good. Energy Absorption is a triple resource card. Alpha Flight Station is just card draw all over. She's got card draw on her Alter Ego. She's kind of got card cycling on her hero form. And card cycling means you've got the same amount of cards in hand than was when you started usually, but you've kind of moved through the deck. You've got to see something different. So of course, you could use a resource generator to pay for her rechannel ability. And then she will have an extra card in hand, but one less resource total still. So it kind of balances out. But yeah, really, really rich. Her economy is off the charts and she can do anything she wants with this economy. I would like to describe her kind of kind of like a blank canvas. She, you can kind of build anything onto her that you like, but she won't have as much flavor as perhaps other heroes would when they do whatever that thing you built onto her. But nonetheless, very, very powerful hero because she is rich. Normally I do like a five star system. The extra star here is if they are like absurdly over the normal amount. And yeah, she is rich. I mean, Spider-Ham may be richer, but nonetheless, Captain Marvel, really, really good and really, really bursty. If you get one of those energy absorptions, turn one, extra cards two, you just get set up super quickly. The first deck we're going to look at takes advantage of that. And this is a deck made by Dead Wolf. And this is Ultimate Avengers Assemble. It's a leadership deck that is all about putting out this massive amount of allies as quickly as you can, then using Avengers Assemble to do this humongous burst amount of damage. And it's very, very effective. Leadership Avengers Captain Marvel is kind of a classic, very, very strong. So some of the key cards are we have a bunch of allies. We want to get as many of those as we can, but then we can use strength of numbers in this deck to exhaust those allies, to draw more cards, to find more Avengers or, you know, money to pay for them put even more Avengers out on the board. And we do have Triskelion and Avengers Tower, which upgrade our ally limit, and Stinger, which doesn't count toward our ally limit. So we can easily get up to, let's say, five Avengers without any real difficulty. Team training will keep them alive a bit longer just to maintain that massive board of allies. We've got two copies of that. It is that important. And then we have Avengers Assemble. This is a four cost event, very expensive, but very, very powerful. This ends games very, very quickly. Hero action, ready each Avenger character you control. To the end of the phase, each Avenger character in play gets plus one four and plus one attack. So in multiplayer, any other Avengers with you will get that as well, the stat boost at least. But all your Avengers get readied up. So the idea is you build up this massive board of allies and then you attack with all of them. Then your Avengers assemble, ready them up and attack with even bigger attack stats and just devastate the villain. And the write-up for this says that Dead Wolf is able to achieve this very reliably with five or so allies by turn four, which is absurd. So that's the deck, very fun. Now, Dead Wolf has said they would add clarity of purpose to this deck these days, even though it doesn't have cards like Quinn Carrier. It doesn't have Quinn Carrier and other expensive sort of resource generators because it just really wants to get those allies out as quickly as possible. Those resource generators might just not pay off. Clarity of purpose, nice and cheap, works really well with her, probably worth it. But that's the deck, very, very fun. And then we have a deck by one of the most well-known deck builders in all of Marvel Champions, Drew, also known as Dr. Double O. And this is an old deck as well. This is a really old deck. It goes back to when there are a lot fewer packs out and it's a kind of an archetypal style that they didn't really kind of build into long term, but it's really fun. And he actually gave me a few different decks to choose from from his, but he said this is kind of his favorite. And I was like, doesn't matter if, you know, it's maybe less popular or less new than some of his other decks. Favorite is what we're going for. And I really think this deck is really fascinating. So the whole idea, as he says in the write up and all these decks will be linked in the description below, he says he likes that you can use energy cards in different interesting ways. You can use it for the rechannel ability and kind of heal here. So it's got the Nova ally and this has an interrupt that when an enemy initiates attack, spend an energy, deal damage. We've also got Captain Marvel's rechannel ability, which we talked about before. Preemptive Strike, you could just spend any resource on, but it could be an energy. And this means when the boost card is turned face up in an attack against you, this event will cancel those boost icons and then damage the villain for each cancelled one. And then we've got Energy Barrier, all in the energy theme here. We can feed these into Energy Channel. But what Energy Barrier does as well is it lets you kind of stop block a damage, but then you get to reflect it. So it's kind of almost like a spiky fawns kind of, you know, you're reflecting damage, the enemy attacks you, they're getting hurt for it, but you're also getting these really interesting ways to spend your energy resources and a lot of energy resources in the deck. I think this is really fun, really interesting. It's also got a few other just, you know, good cards mixed in. Iron Fist, very powerful. And you will never need to block with this. This is a protection deck that says, you know, just come and hit me. I'll just heal it up, lower some of the damage, send more back at you. 
add. I think that's really, really cool. So really cool deck as well. I like this one a lot. And then we're going to talk about one of my decks. And I really like to play Captain Marvel in a support kind of role. If I'm playing her, I actually like to use her massive economy to try and pay for things and boost up other players. And there are different ways you can do that. You can do it in Justice. You can play lots of upgrades on other players. Then we've got cards like Joining Forces, which I think is quite underrated. We might see that in a certain other series I'm doing in the future. I'm not sure. But you can just have a Guardian player with loads of Guardian allies. The Avenger player, maybe with this card, maybe being Captain Marvel, with loads of expensive Avenger allies, of which there are many. This card can get two allies into play for very, very cheap overall compared to playing them individually. And Captain Marvel has the money for it and the card draw to find it and the card draw to find the right allies in her hand. So I do like this kind of build as well. Then we've got Web of Life and Destiny. And I love putting the Web of Life and Destiny, just putting the Web Warriors on other heroes that you might not expect. Very, very strong. You can use this to draw cards for other players, which makes it really supportive and interesting. And actually, I heard about this idea first from somebody called Astrodar. They also go by Infinite Square Whale on Reddit, I believe. And they have a blog called Alter Ego Chronicle, where they talk all about Web Warriors and actually have a Captain Marvel deck there for that. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. I will try and link that down below if I remember. I hope I do, but you can easily Google this as well. So lots of different ways you can build her in a supportive way. The way that I prefer is not optimal, but I think is fun. It's almost thematic, at least in my opinion. I actually don't really know how her powers work, and I'm pretty sure I've butchered them. But the idea is that you boost up other people's stats with her and kind of just energize them. You know, she is all about energy. She can rechannel, absorb energy. She can channel at different places. And that's kind of what I'm going with in my head. She's channeling energy into power up other heroes. So this is a multiplayer deck, whereas the other two decks, I would say work at any player count, honestly. But this one specifically for multiplayer with hopefully multiple heroes that either have lots of allies or lots of readying or maybe both. So the key cards here are lead from the front and morale boost. And the idea with that is you choose a player and you're, you know, kind of giving them energy. You're powering them up, which I think is really fun. I played this in two player alongside Valkyrie, which worked really, really well. She had overkill from hand cannon. We didn't play her defensive weapon. And yeah, just boosting up stats, using her money to pay for the stuff, using her card draw. Very easy to do. These are energy cards as well. One of them has Captain Marvel on it, which I always think is fun to include on that matching kind of hero. And Sam Wilson, Captain America, is still very avenger got the right color theme going on, so I, I just, I think it works. Similar for Clarity of Purpose. Three of these in the deck, throw them out, hand them out like candy to your other players, and hey, it's got Captain Marvel on, extra bonus, and it's giving them resources. Now, they take damage as well. Maybe you're energizing them and the energy's burning them, I don't know. Her paths probably don't even work like this in any way, shape, or form. It's probably not possible, but I like it. I like the idea behind it, so give those out. And maybe less thematic, although we are leadership, mission leader. She has a soldier trait, which discounts that card. Super good card for multiplayer. She's got to be the one to bring it. And with all that card drawn things she has, she will find it quicker than the average hero, which means people can start to get more card draw from it from the side schemes even quicker. So I really like how that comes together. We've got a few other tools here. We've got things like Command Team, which we can use with Nick Fury or Professor X, but also other players' allies. We've got just general good allies. Most of the allies are over free cost or at least free cost. To make sure energy absorption does have some good targets because a lot of the other cards we're including are quite cheap but and the usual avengers mansion and heli carrier which we can use on other people along with her ultra ego ability to keep giving them more cards and support them as well so portable battery pack is the name of it this is my deck not the most powerful one i would definitely look for the avengers leadership one we looked at the start from dead wolf if you're really going for power and want to decimate some villains but this is a very different way to play very fun in multiplayer i think and i wanted to share it so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you want to see more like, comment, subscribe, anything that you want all helps the channel, makes YouTube happy. And we actually have a Discord server now, link down below. If you want to join in the discussion, please go ahead. I'd love to have you there. Thank you so much. Hope you have a great day. Bye.